on Hooga Domain. This is Silencer. That over there is Cryptic Mac. Uh, today we will be doing something that is a first for me personally. I have never used this stuff. Uh, we will be reviewing a little bit of Hooka Hooka's Black Label Tropical Punch. Uh, what's unique about this stuff is its complete lack of nicotine and tar. But first, the setup you may notice is a little bit different than the usual. Um, we previously did a review on this one a couple minutes ago, and I liked it so much that I wanted to use it again. So uh, we will be using a uh, Blue Maya QT that we picked up from hookadashisha.com, and uh, it, uh, it's supposed to actually be for Tony's grandmother. I'm dead serious. That's what we're using it for. Uh, oh. As soon as we're done with this tonight, we'll be end up mailing it over to her, and uh, she's really looking forward to this little guy, but we wanted to take a test run on it ourselves. And we're making a... Uh, how-to DVD, you know, how to pack a bowl, how to get the base ready, how-to anything hookah, troubleshooting, all that fun stuff because she's never, she's only smoked it once, and she loved it so much she had to have one, so here it is, <laughs> so we have to teach her somehow, and with her living in Ohio. As a side note, if anybody would be interested in a copy of said DVD at some point, feel free to message either me or Tony and we'll see what arrangements we can make. Now, on to the, on to the shisha itself. Uh, by the way, standard Maya bowl on here, and as you can see, the world's tiniest windscreen. Well, it's a standard baby Maya bowl. <laughs> now, <sighs> here's our stuff. A little bit of black label. I want to take a minute to point this out. This stuff was sent to us for review by my good friend Jonathan over at Sahara Smoke. Um, that's their logo up there. Uh, they were nice enough to send us this stuff because we expressed some interest in trying this blend of shisha before. As I mentioned a second ago, this is unique because it is the nicotine-free, tar-free, everything-free herbal shisha. Very different. Not actually done with any tobacco of any kind in here. It's done with a variety of Middle Eastern uh, Middle Eastern herbs and spices, I believe. Now, the consistency on it is unique. Um, if I had to describe the cut to one degree or another, I may call it, say, almost a sort of an Al Fokker. However, the consistency is not... It's not gooey. It, it, it's very much like a loose... Almost, almost like a like, like a water and oil mixture to it. So I think maybe the preservatives might be a little bit different on this stuff than it is on some of the others. Um, again, as you saw a second ago, very interesting fine shred cut on this stuff. Um, I thought it might be a little difficult to work with. As far as stems are concerned, there are some very tiny ones, but not not excessive amounts of them. Um, so I, I was definitely very interested to get this stuff. As regard as far as the smell is concerned. It does smell like a nice glass of fruit punch. I mean, you know, just something that you had whenever you were doing a tropical dance or something punch. in high school. Yeah, tropical punch, sorry, because fruit isn't involved in a tropical punch. But um, anyway, uh, I liked it and I wanted to see what it was like, so we threw it over here in the QT. As for how it smokes... Oh. I notice that when we're burning this, that... Uh, the consistency of the smoke when you're inhaling it is a little different. It, the it, taste. It, it almost has, it almost, it, it wasn't even the taste so much for me. It's more of a textural difference. Oh, like yeah. the feel of the smoke itself, I don't know, I, I, if it, for lack of a better way to put it, it seemed less dense. Yeah, it's thin. I mean, it's not that it produces thin clouds, because no. as me and Tony are proving, it's uh, It doesn't produce thin clouds. Inhaling it, it feels thinner. Like taking a drink of water versus milk. You know, the difference in thickness. Exactly. The cloud size is very, very good. As a matter of fact, I actually think this might have some cloud size comparable to uh, comparable to some of the nicer blends, like uh, the higher-end Hookah Freaks, for instance, or the, uh, you know, some of, some of the Al Fockers, even. So there's definitely a point of comparison for it, and it is healthier for you. Um, we've been burning on this one probably for about, say, 35 minutes or so, just on the QT, and it has really produced a nice flavor. Um, I was surprised by that. You, you can definitely tell that it's a non, uh, that's the best way I'll put it, non, uh, kind of shisha, because there, you can taste 
the herbal, you know, the, the spices and the, uh, whatever they use, you know, to make the tobacco, you can taste. And it's pretty good. I mean, it has... Or to simulate the tobacco, I guess. Yeah, it, it has a very uh, slim, like, right at the beginning, it had a really good tropical fruit flavor. Now it's kind of died down, but that, the, the all-natural flavor, I guess you could call it. So it's still coming through. Yeah. And, see, this, this brings in my only one concern about the Black Label, is that I'm afraid that if you're not the most experienced person with heat management and you do allow this stuff to burn, my God, what kind of harsh this would be. Well, that... And I mean, that's what I'm concerned with, is that tobacco harsh, if you ever smoked a cigarette, fine. It, it sucks, but you can get through it. I'm concerned as to what this would be like if we weren't practicing good heat management with the uh, coconaras here. Um, so if, if we did actually begin the process yeah. of burning the stuff, I'm concerned as to what it would be well, like. that and to literally take the foil off and look at it, you can't tell really if it's burnt or not because the tobacco is black. Exactly. I mean, here's an illustration of, of uh, post-burning this bowl, what it looks like up on the screen. Um, <laughs> as you saw a second ago, the stuff's black to begin with. So outside of getting in there with the field test and determining what's crunchy and what's still moist, it would be a little tricky to determine that. However, um, insofar as the smokeability of this concern, it makes nice clouds. Uh, it may not feed your nicotine addiction, but how is that a bad thing? Um, all in all, I'd say it's a pretty good smoke. The flavor is, is pretty nice on it, a bit unique. Um, yeah. I just was looking forward to trying this because it's something very different. Um, it has a very unique flavor. I, for me, I'm a smoker. I hate cigarettes. I know it's contradicting. I, I like smoking, but not cigarettes. I like... The, art, the actual act of blowing a cloud. Yeah, just smoke. And the flavor on this stuff, I really like. Because, I mean, it doesn't taste like a cigarette, but it kind of does. Because it's just a different flavor. And I don't know if that will apply to all the black labels, but we do have four different kinds. Mm -hmm. Compliments to... again of Jonathan. Yes. You're my boy. Thank you so much. Thank There's you. his logo again. Um, but, uh, if I had to pick a number on this stuff, I, I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna go with a solid 8. I think a solid 8 is a good way to qualify I this stuff. I was gonna go 7.5, but 8 will quantify very well. Just because, I was gonna go with a 7.5 because, um, not per se a noob, uh, shisha, and, and but... That's true. This is stuff that I want you to mess around with after you've been playing with your hookah for a little while. That and um, it kind of, I mean, it's not harsh, but it's there. Yeah. And, you know, starting off smoking, you don't want that. So Keep in mind, though, if you do have someone experienced but they're concerned about getting hooked on nicotine, this stuff is perfect for them. Yeah. Provides the flavor, provides the cloud to have some fun with it, but you don't have to worry about getting stuck on anything. Anyway... I'm Silencer. This guy walking towards you over here is Cryptic Mac. Uh, stay tuned. We'll be back to Mr. Wonderful next time, and we have several more hookah freak and hookah hookahs on the way. Stay Ooh. tuned. Hold on. Quick run. How was um, you Oh, God. I just have to show you the table real quick. Um, oh, that's right. Look at all the sheesh. That's right. Show off it's Uncle Silencer's time. collection. No. But um, this is some stuff that we got coming up next. The Epic Smoke is some brand new stuff that have been out there. And also, coming up next, a little bit of jewels, baby. Right. I'm looking forward to it. Some more blacks. Plenty of uh, hookah hookahs. And, yeah. Video has to end now because it's at 9.30. Later.